Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Crypto Flight Edition. There's your fellow passenger stopping in with just with some technicals on the Dogecoin cryptocurrency. It appears that Dogecoin is getting a little boring out there, and someone may need to know, like, what is going on? Is it going to move anytime soon? We're going to get to the details about that. And if you're just stopping in, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button if you find any valuable information in the content. Loyal subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is responding well to your engagement. Appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you hear any birds in the background, enjoy that or just ignore it. All right, so what we're going to do is see where we are with the exponential moving average, the 50-day. These are the daily candles. So we're just going, um, yeah, let's just dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's February the 2nd, 2021, and the current price of Dogecoin is going to be $0.05. Cents. It's up approximately 0.5% for the day. Okay. All right, let's just pull up our lines here. So that's it. Really simple. So on the last video we left out, we were just saying two levels. Uh, of course, the overhead target is still the same, the 5.5 cent level. But the lower targets that we left you wonderful folks out with was the uh, seven. I'm sorry, 4.7 cent level, which is right here. And the also the EMA. Let's go ahead and reveal that. Okay. So it hasn't moved much. It's still near the, uh, what is this? The one, sorry, 4.1 cent level. So it's just still hanging out below the price. I'd like to see it just kind of move up, right? So remember the boring, you know, the sideways consolidation that we spoke of? I think that's where we are. Well, obviously, that's where we are right now because it's just been kind of stuck within this little small range here. If I could just kind of put a box, something like this. So for the past, like, uh, let's see, one, two, let's gonna count them out here. Sorry guys, one, two, three, four, five days. It's just been kind of stuck between what is this? Uh, four point seven cents, all the way up to five point one cents. So it's been kind of trapped right within a very small uh, percentage. Let's see, like six percent up or seven percent up, and uh, of course to the downside. We'll go ahead and measure that. I'm not sure if this is useful information, guys, but like seven to within a seven percent range. Okay. So I know a lot are asking, okay, so when is Dogecoin going to make a move? Uh, I'm actually not sure, but the one thing that I did leave you guys out with is Dogecoin is trying to find financial support. So the financial support is either just trying to catch up with the price as this uh, exponential 50 moving average. For those of you just joining us, we've been following this. Um, it's an, I'm using tradingview.com because I know someone like, dude, what, what are you talking about? Um, it's it's a 50 exponential moving average. It's an, it's an authentic, organic, whichever one you want to use. It's a non-manipulative uh, uh, moving average because on some of the moving averages they're like manipulated by some of the uh, the guys on the uh, platform there but yeah it's a regular exponential moving average 50 day on the daily chart here if you're going to actually pull up your charts on uh, tradingview.com is what I'm using okay so I'm just waiting right to see if Dogecoin is gonna you know, find financial support it's at this point there's really not much to talk about other than the 4.7 cent level. Um, I do realize that uh, we were expecting to see it, uh, I guess get a test down here, 4.1 cents. That didn't happen, that's fine. Um, as long as it's kind of holding a relative range sideways consolidation with an anticipation for the next move. Now, the one other thing that I wanted to go over with you all is I wanna kind of outline where we are once again. Let me just kind of erase this so we can just clean up the chart so we're all clear about what I'd like to see uh, here within, oh, I'm so horrible with time in this. Let's just call it the next 60 days, okay? So I wanna outline this range here. Let's see, nature's pretty loud behind me there if you hear that. All right, so let's just say this range. So Dogecoin is currently within this range, like right here, uh, what did it say, uh, 4.6 cents, and all the way up to this range here, this, this level rather, 7.8 cents. Now I'm pointing this out because what we're looking for, I really want this to make sense here. Let me see if I can just do this also. Stick with me here. Guys. Nothing's ever rehearsed. Never, ever rehearsed. Okay. So what you're looking at is two separate consolidation ranges. Okay. So like this area here, it's in between uh, 2.7 cents and the top of this little rectangular or no, sorry, the, the box area is going to be 4.6 cents. So I'm bringing this up because I really hope this makes sense. As the price consolidates within a uh, consolidative range, okay? Remember that buyer's commitment that we went over? Hopefully we left a link in the video so you can actually understand what I mean when I say that. So this candle right here would be the buyer's commitment as it's an official breakout of this consolidation range here. Stick with me. Let me see if I could just kind of put a, a uh, something over so we, we can all be on the same page. Color code it. 
So we're all clear, something like that. Hopefully you're still with me. There, okay. So this green rectangular range represents the buyer's commitment, okay? Now, what, I, what I'd like to see from Dogecoin, okay? Hopefully we'll, I'm not sure how often we're gonna do updates because uh, I think this is gonna take a while. If it's going to, if it's going to perform the way that I'm thinking it's going to happen, okay? Remember, I'm just telling the story, guys. I don't know about the tweets or anything like that. I, I respect the tweets, but I'm just looking at these candlesticks, these beautiful candlesticks that a lot of people ignore. They're so beautiful. All right, so what I'm expecting to see is Dogecoin just do the same little boring consolidation, assuming it's going to go up, okay? This still has downward potential. If there's not enough buying interest in this market, it's really simple, guys, buyers and sellers. If there's too many sellers in this market and there's not enough buyers, the price is going to go down. If there's not enough uh, sellers to push the price down and there's more buyers than sellers, the price is going to go up. Really simple, okay? So if this is going to play out in a healthy fashion that I think is going to play out in, here's what I would like to see on the chart, okay? This slow move to the upside, break above that 5.5 cents and just kind of slowly grind to the upside until it reaches 7.8, 7.9 cents. Now, pay attention because this is important. When the price or the cryptocurrency rather reaches the the overhead resistance, let's just call this resistance for now. I know we said 5.5 cents, but I'm paying more attention to the range because remember what we're waiting on. We're waiting for that buyer's commitment. Okay. When we get that buyer's commitment, I'd like to see it. Ideally, I'd like to see it happen above the top of this box. Hopefully you're all with me because when the price breaks out of a consolidation range, remember this is a consolidation range here. Hopefully you're looking at the screen. This is a consolidation range here of 2.7 up to 4.6, right? Yes. Okay. And when, let me just kind of see if I can clone this to really make sense. Okay. The buyer's commitment, I would like to ideally see it happen above a specific range. And this is the range that I can identify between 4.6 cents up to 7.8 cents. So as far as like having these, let me just erase these squigglies, right? If we see like an aggressive, you see this aggressive move within this consolidation range? You see this little, let me see if I can, I really want everyone to like get this. I think you guys are with me. You guys are really smart. I got a lot of engagement with those T's down in the conversation. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So you see this candle here? You see how you have that aggressive move within a consolidation range? You typically have to give it all back. You see how the price action just kind of, not necessarily crumbled, right? I mean, it is, you can't consider it crumbled. You see how it went up and you had to just kind of all the profits you gave everything back. But this is good. The slow methodic move to the downside. We explained that a lot on the channel. The slow methodic move is just an indication that the buyers are buying the asset as it goes down, as opposed to those nasty moves to the downside. That means they're just unloading on the market. But when you see the slow methodic moving to the upside or essentially, I mean, the same thing, right? If it's going to the, the downside or the upside, the same thing is happening, right? There's a, an organic or wait, did I say that right? Organic, not organic, there's no T in there. Uh, organic move to the upside. Once it gets to the top of the range that I've speculatively identified, that's when we would like to see that aggressive candle, that buyer's commitment, AKA buyer's commitment candle to come into the market after it has reached 7.8 cents. Hopefully this made sense. Let me know down in the conversation if this, down in the conversation if this actually made sense. So. In closing here, what I'm waiting to see is um, the buyers step into the to the market, right? Now, it doesn't have to necessarily happen that way because, remember, we have that uh, that uh, moving average coming up to the price. And as illustrated back here, let's just erase everything. We guys want it. I want everyone to see everything. So hopefully that, that illustration made sense in terms of the range that we're potentially within now and the slow methodic move to the upside and no aggressive movements until it gets to the top of the potential resistance line. And then we wait for that aggressive buy buyer commitment to come in the market. Hopefully that made sense. But if you notice here, the closer it gets to the exponential moving average, the buyer's commitment literally just steps in, right? Like it just blasts off to the upside, assuming that the buyer's commitment is going to be uh, in, in good intentions, right? Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically what we're waiting on, you guys. I feel like this is a pretty confusing video, but I just want to give you one more example and then we'll close it out here. Thank you for your time. So this area here, I just want to use it as an example, as kind of a piggyback of what we've already gone over just overhead there. So notice the, uh, the slow methodic, right? The, uh, you know, it kind of found a range, right? Slow methodic moving to the downside. For those of you listening, we're talking about a range between, uh, it's just below a penny, so it's like, 
seven cents not even seven cents guys it's below a penny it's so, so difficult to say these numbers and just overhead it's like a uh, one penny okay so notice how the price just kind of finds this range and it's kind of slowly going down right and then it kind of finds the bottom of this level right and then that buyer's commitment just kind of steps in and it just you know obliterates the resistance level and it just kind of find a new paradigm new uh uh, range to consolidate and everything so that's what we're waiting on if it happens at the lower level let's see uh, let's just kind of do this really quickly we'll go back up uh, you guys said it, i can spend as much time as i can so let's go back up here really quickly thank you for your time i know this is a long video okay uh, so let's do this so i know what i just originally said let's just outline this one more time All right i want this to make sense guys it's, it's, it's a beautiful story it's price action it's really simple to understand if you um you know have a little bit of an understanding right so let's just say that the price, the cryptocurrency is just kind of falling uh, within this range here. See here. And it's continuing to go down, right? Beautiful, slow, methodic price activity. And then it actually finds support at this exponential moving average, right? And then you have that buyer's commitment to step in from the from the lower level of the uh, support line within the range. And it kind of obliterates the highs. That's okay. That's fine. That if, if that comes into the market, that's just fine. OK, as long as whoever's stepping into the market with that buyer's commitment is going to hold those assets and hold the price up, find a new consolidation range and, of course, continue the overall trajectory, which is a very bullish trajectory to the upside. That's perfectly fine. So that's I guess that's two scenarios, right? That uh, buyer's commitment to step in at the lower support line within this potential uh, consolidation range or that slow methodic move to the upside, that slow grind to the upside, and then we get that buyer's commitment to step in at the top of this potential uh, consolidation range that I have uh, speculatively identified. I really hope this made sense uh, because I was kind of all over the place with this. Let me know down in the comment section um, if this made sense to you all. We're going to cut it out here. So essentially what we're waiting on is that buyer's commitment that has not stepped in. Let the markets get boring. Uh, be patient. Uh, that's all Dogecoin is waiting on. Again, I'm not invested in Dogecoin to be totally transparent with you all. Uh, Dogecoin is seeking financial support. We need that buyer's commitment. It has not stepped into the market. I think if you all are patient, we will see what happens in the short to midterm. We have to give this at least 30 days. OK, I'm sure it'll probably happen next week, but just be patient. 30 days is as far out as I can see it. In fact, let's just measure this. Man, this video is getting super long now. All right. So 22 days as far as the load there. So let's just measure it on out. Just saying it'll be the equivalent of what has already taken place. So we're looking at a date of March the 23rd, 2021. So on the 23rd of this month, if we get some sort of aggressive buyer's commitment, that'll probably take less time. Right. But if we get that slow cupature, slow methodic uh, price action to the downside cupature formation, then it'll probably take a little bit more time. I think that'd be the most healthy move. Uh, if it were to actually do that, because I think that move would be much more sustainable. And uh, that's all I have for the technicals for you wonderful folks. Again, hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content or if you actually uh, stick stuck with me and you, you you know listen to the end and it's made sense. Let me know that down in the comment section. Also, before you go, if you're new, we cover the traditional markets. I'm not sure if you're in the stocks, but we cover that throughout the week. Subscribe with us. We'll send you that information when it's available. And we did cover everything. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Make sure that you are being yourselves and we're going to cut it out. Thank you for your time um, and take care of yourselves. And we're going to talk soon. Execute your strategies and bye for now.